Hello everyone, in these videos, we are going to go through better fine-tune techniques for face detection and face segmentation. Fine-tuning your AI images, especially on character faces, we'll explore how to use this for AI images or animations in stable diffusion to achieve better performance and face presentations for our characters. This technique is called face parsing. It uses the YOLO face segmentation models to detect features. For example, on the right side here, I have an image that can detect the every parts of a face by close-up shot. Different zones of color represent different parts of the face. Ideally, it is used for close-up shots, like this one of a male character on the right side. It is very detailed in labeling all parts. As you can see, they have identified IDs for all kinds of skin, nose, and eyes, categorizing different parts of the face, the upper part of the neck, and the clothing. So, how do we use this? When we have YOLO segmentation models, we can use Comfy UI. Here, we have the Comfy UI face parsing custom nodes that utilize this face parsing segmentation to provide more details of the character's face. Any AI image you generate, can include a close-up shot of the character segmenting those parts. You can add detailers or refinement nodes to fix parts commonly facing issues in AI-generated images. There are always some minor adjustments needed after the initial AI image sampling. For example, the nose, ears, or eyes might look awkward, and you can segment those using these custom nodes and fix them with a workflow. Here's a demo workflow. They start with an original image like this one. After processing, they smooth the skin of the face and fix some wrinkles. Not too many, but some parts will be smoothed. So, let's try this one in Comfy UI. First, we need to prepare something before trying this out. We have to download the face parsing models. The face parsing models include JSON files and safe tensor files, which are available via a link I will share. You can download them from the Hugging Face page, which has the model safe tensor files and two JSON files, preprocessors and quantitative JSON files. Secondly, you need the YOLOV 8M model. Many of you might already have this one. For ED detailers, you can use Ultralytics bounding box. Often, when using face detection models for segmentation, you can download them from GitHub or the Hugging Face page. They have face, hands, and person detection by default. Sometimes, I like to use the fashion segmentation, which is quite handy for refining. After the first sampling, you can refine the face and hands, etc. in Comfy UI. Here we have the Comfy UI interface. Once you go to the Comfy UI manager and install the custom nodes, search for the face parsing keywords, and the custom nodes will appear. Click install for the first time and wait for it to download. Let's see if there is anything that needs to be installed. It looks like they have a requirements.txt file to install something. Let's check it out. There shouldn't be anything special in here. If you have already installed the dependent libraries from the requirements.txt file, you can directly restart your Comfy UI by clicking the restart button. If not, you must manually go to the command prompt and run a pip install for the requirements txt file. So, let's restart my comfy UI and come back later. After restarting comfy UI and loading up the workflow, you can see we have the bounding box with the YOLO face segmentation model. We use the Ultralytics provider and you can choose other segmentation models as well. By using face processing, they provide their own custom nodes to connect the bounding box. Let's use this one. First, we will load up an image. I'm using the same AI image from the Hugging Face demo page, which is this one. We will try it out with the same image using the face parsing bounding box. The bounding box detector will provide the image data and the bounding box detector will load up with the threshold set at 0.3. We will list all the bounding boxes into this result, showing the output image on the preview image custom nodes. Then, we will identify which part of the face is detected. Here, we have the face parsing result for a processor. It will identify the skin, nose, eyes, 
eyebrows, left eye, and right eye. You can turn everything on or just partially on. So, for example, if I just want to focus on the eyes, nose, and skin, you can do that in this result. The results will be in the first column here, where we will have the procedure review output. For the second result, if you want to focus on the lips, mouth, or hair, or other lower parts of the face, you can try that out in this preview image. Here's the workflow. I have tested it a few times and it is able to do segmentations within the face. As you can see, I have the mask preview from these sections and these custom nodes are able to identify the segmentation of the eyes and nose. I have turned on these options on the right side here, focusing only on the eyebrows. I accidentally turned on the clothing option as well. So I turned it off and ran it again. As you can see, the mask preview here only shows the eyebrows of my AI image. I have intentionally created a coloration difference with my original image. This makes it easier to show you the different colorations. It is able to do the segmentations of the nose, eyes, and eyebrows here. You can also make other color adjustments by tuning the contrast, brightness, saturation, and hue here. These two columns will identify different objects. I did that for the eyes and nose in this first section. This shows that we can create nose segmentations and also the eyes. Although it looks a bit awkward right now, not matching my other skin colorations. This was done intentionally to show you that these nodes can segment the face. In real practical situations, you can use the face detector running with the face parsing result processor. This is the most important custom node you will use to refine the eyes and nose. Once you have the mask output, you can do another sampling step in stable diffusion, running it for a better result, as we usually do for face segmentations. So yes, this is how we can achieve better refinement. This was just a very brief idea of how you can use the face parsing result processor to identify each small part of the face. That's it for these videos, and I hope you got inspired on how to integrate this with your workflows to achieve better faces in your images or video results. Have a nice day, see ya.